Hello everyone. In this video we're going to be solving a functional equation. We have f of x squared minus x plus 1 equals x to the fourth power minus 2x cubed plus x squared minus 1. And we're going, we're going to be solving for f of x. And I'll be presenting two methods and let's start with the first one. The first method will, is called no pain, no gain. So let's get started. And the first method will not be complete. Let me just tell you that ahead of time. So let's go ahead and call this expression something so we can set it equal to something. So let's go ahead and let me go ahead and move this a little bit down like this. Okay. So this expression right here, I'm going to call that, I'm going to call that something. So let's go ahead and call this T. How about that? If I call that t, I get x squared minus x plus 1 equals t. So now if you subtract t from both sides, you get a quadratic equation, quadratic in x, and we can solve it using the quadratic formula. So let's go ahead and write the quadratic formula for this equation. x equals negative b, which is 1, plus minus the square root of b squared, which is 1 again, minus 4ac. c is 1 minus 4t, so that's going to be... 4 times 1 minus t because a is equal to 1. Now if you go ahead and simplify the expression inside the radical, you're going to get 1 minus 4 plus 4t. That's going to give you 4t minus 3 inside the radical. And divide by 2. Now there are two solutions. Which one are we going to use? Well, you can use both, but not at the same time. Let's just go with the first one, the plus 1. And it shouldn't matter which method you use. It should give you the same answer. And you can verify that and check. So this is our x in terms of t. And notice that we can plug it in on the right-hand side. Let's go ahead and do it a little bit, a uh, little bit, because this method is not going to be complete. So our original expression was, remember, on the right-hand side, we had x to the fourth power plus 2x cubed minus, I mean, plus x squared minus 1. This was our f of whatever the expression is. And we now replace this whole thing with t. We don't have to do it again. But let's go ahead and replace these x's with this expression right here. Okay? So let's go ahead and do it. And to be able to do that, I'm going to do the following. So f of t equals x to the fourth. 1 plus square root of 4t minus 3 divided by 2. I'm going to raise it to the fourth power plus 2 times, I'm going to write the same expression, and I'm going to cube it, and then I'm going to have the same expression one more time, and this time I need to square it. Let's go ahead and move this again, so we can fit it on the screen, like this, here we go, and then I'm going to subtract 1 from the whole thing, right? Minus 1 at the end. So good luck with that. This is your f of t. If you simplify this, you should get the answer. And of course, at the end, you can replace t with x if you want. But let me just do a little bit of this to show you how much this entails. So f of t. In order to be able to raise this to the fourth power, I can go ahead and do the following. I can just square it, right? I can go ahead and square this expression and then square it one more time, because that's what the fourth power means. Let me not do the rest, because that's going to be super duper painful. So what are we going to do here? We're going to square this expression and square it one more time. So if you square a plus b, you're going to get the following. a squared plus b squared plus 2ab. That's going to be 2 times the square root of 40 minus 3 divided by 4. Now we need to square this again and the rest will follow. So let's just proceed a little bit more. We get a 4t from here, plus 2 times the radical. Let me write that first. And then 1 minus 3 is just going to give us negative 2, and divide the whole thing by 4, and then square it. And dot, dot, dot. Now, one thing we can do here is divide both the top and the bottom by 2, which is going to simplify things a little bit and then square it. Now we have a plus b plus c squared in the numerator. So let's go ahead and square it. Remember the formula? a squared plus b squared plus c squared plus 2ab, which is this. 
plus 2ac, which is this, plus 2bc. And that's going to be this. Make sense? You see, even the first part takes up the whole space. And all of that is divided by 4. And of course, there's going to be more terms added to it. But let's just simplify this a little bit. We get 40 squared in the numerator. 40 and 40 cancels out. Uh, negative 3 plus 1 is going to give us a negative 2 at the end. These two are kind of like terms. We can put those together as 40 minus 2 divide, multiply by the radical, which is square root of 40 minus 3. And at the end, we're going to put a minus 2 and divide the whole thing by 4. Again, this is just part of the expression. We're trying to simplify the first part. Now, everything can be divided by 2. So 2t two squared plus 2t minus 1, 2t or not 2t, right? That's the problem. Minus 1 divided by 2 plus dot, dot, dot. And as you can see, even the first part is quite complicated, and you're going to have more and more terms. Put it all together, simplify it, and you should get the answer. But like I said earlier, this is very painful, so you should probably avoid this method if you want. Anyways, uh, feel free to complete the method and let me know what you get in the comment section down below. So I'm going to proceed with the second method because the second method is much nicer and I think more elegant. Let me know what you think. So we have f of x squared minus x plus 1 equals x to the fourth minus 2x cubed plus x squared minus 1, right? Okay, so that's my expression. What am I going to do? Well, here's the thing. I'm going to square the expression inside the parentheses. Why? Because... I'm going to get a quartic, and I have a quartic on the right-hand side. Let's go ahead and square this again using the formula. This time it's going to be a little easier. x to the fourth plus x squared plus 1 minus 2x cubed plus 2x squared minus 2x. Let's simplify this a little bit. x to the fourth minus 2x cubed plus 3x squared minus 2x plus 1. And this is basically the expression squared. Make sense? So do I have the same thing? Mm, not really, but I can arrange it. So here's what I can do. The expression on the right hand side can be fixed a little bit to make it look like what we have here. So let's go ahead and do the following. I'm going to go ahead and set this equal to. Now, this is equal to that. So I can do the following x to the fourth minus 2x cubed. This is what I have, right, plus 3x squared minus 2x plus 1. This is what I should have, and this is what I have from the squaring. So here's what I need. I have x to the fourth minus 2x cubed. So those two terms are fine, but I do have 3x squared. So to get x squared, I need to subtract 2x squared. I don't have an 2x here, so I have to add 2x to make it cancel out. And I do have a negative 1 to make this positive 1 negative. We need to subtract 2 from it. Make sense? Now, it's the same as this one. Those two expressions are identical. Now, what does this mean? This means that my expression, this part, remember, is a perfect square, which is x squared minus x plus 1 squared. And the rest is negative 2 times x squared minus x plus 1. And guess what? Now, when you replace this with t, as before with the first method, it was super painful, remember. But this time, it's going to be a piece of cake, f of t is going to be t squared minus 2t, or not 2t. And if you wanted the expression for f of x, it's going to be x squared minus 2x. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.